Hey guys, Gus Mitchell here. Uh, did not get my pollen traps on this spring, so I'm gonna give it a go here in the fall. I'm gonna do a few videos for you guys, uh, demonstrating what I know about pollen trapping and how I go about it. Uh, and we'll start with installing them today. So I have 10 traps to put on. This, this particular yard, I robbed the honey uh, less than a week ago. I gave them all empty supers back. They were already filling them full of nectar. I will need to go back and super when I'm done with this video. Um, the smell of the, the aroma of the fall nectar is, is strong in this yard, um, bringing in tons of pollen. So uh, I think it's a, a good time to trap pollen because resources are heavy and, and more than the bees need to uh, maintain and thrive so it's a i feel like it's a good time even though i haven't trapped in the fall before i use these bottom bottom uh i don't know if you call them bottom board style but they're a, a bottom pollen trap uh, some pollen traps you place on the top these are for the bottom i've removed the bottom board and i have this trap in the off position so this stick here the stick is your on and off switch and you use these nails this is an old style trap by the way so right now it's in the off position and the bees can come and go and when you put a trap on you don't want to have it to where they have to go through the trap you want the trap turned off when you first install it so that these bees can get used to it now their bottom board wasn't far off so they don't have a whole lot to do to transition here so I'll leave this on a day and I'm gonna let them get used to using their bottom board entrance like this. And then I will simply pull the nails and reverse them. And they'll move up and they'll block the bottom board entrance. And then the bees will be forced to go through the trap and as they go through the trap their pollen baskets will get raked along this uh, number five hardware cloth and it'll knock most of it off so that's how that works As you can, maybe you can see a little better here, but this will go in and the hive will sit there and it'll block it. And now they'll, they're already used to coming in here. So it's nothing for them to transition and they'll go through the hive, the pollen trap here. And as they go through the pollen trap there, they will, they will travel through go through two sections of this hardware cloth and back up into the hive and the pollen will fall down and collect into this drawer. So, the bees are on a flow so they're very friendly right now or should I say unbothered and they really don't care about what I'm uh, I'm doing where'd I put that hive tool I broke the rules guys you're supposed to either have your hive tool in your pocket or your hand and time out while I Okay guys, it didn't take long. I found my hive tool. This red vine pulled it right out of my pocket. All right, so my lids are such that I can set a box there without crushing the bees below it. Yeah. This is very heavy. Uh -oh. 
but dump the bees at the front. You can see instantly there's tons of bees in confusion here now. So we will we'll get them set up here really shortly and they won't have to worry about it. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. So now they're back, no problem. I'll bring you guys in. closer here so the large hives the very busy hives I'll bring uh, I'll put pollen traps on and I will give them about a day. This is the closest yard to my shop. So uh, I do that because it, you have to empty your pollen traps frequently. With the humidity and things that we have here, uh, it'll mold like in a couple days really. So at least every other day you need to be emptying your pollen traps, if not every day, if, if it's convenient enough. Uh, when I do that, I come by with a bucket and I empty it into the bucket and then put the bucket into the freezer. Um, I freeze it and then that's after that point, once I collect enough of it, that's when I start the cleaning process, which is uh, quite labor intensive and will require a video in itself. But tomorrow I'll come back when I, when I come into work I'll stop off here and I'll switch these traps on because at that point the bees will be acclimated to these uh, entrances and the positions of them and it'll be no problem. Uh, I'll run them about probably about two days, three days. If you can get on a two-day schedule and you see it's not affecting your pollen or a three-day schedule depending you know on the weather of course if it's raining uh, that won't work. But uh, once I get on that schedule of collecting the pollen, I'll switch on the hives and, and some off. Like if there's 10 here, I'll run five on, and then I'll switch those that were on off so that the bees can get all the pollen that they need. Uh, and I'll switch the other ones back on and just kind of rotate them that way. That way I'm, I'm keeping everything healthy. So that's the plan here. and. Uh, Hopefully, we'll get some really beautiful uh, multicolor pollen that'll sell really well for us, and uh, it'll work out great. So, if you have any questions for me about what you've seen in this, this section, uh, let me know in the comments, and I'll address that for you. Otherwise, uh, as I continue on with this project, I'll, uh, I'll put out some videos. Some of them may be longer, some may be uh, shorter, but... I'm going to carry y'all along with me on this one. So, with that, I'm going to get the rest of these, uh, these traps on, super these bees up, and I'll catch you guys later.